Hello everyone, this is HTJ Halloween, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Rising Reaper of Death. But before I get into the video, I wanted to wish you all a Merry Christmas, and I also wanted to thank you for the growth I've had on this channel. Since the end of Halloween, I've gained 400 new subscribers and earned enough money to purchase both of the new props that you see here. So I wanted to thank you guys so much for all the support I've been getting on this channel because it really helps a lot. And it would be great to go into next Halloween season with a thousand subscribers because we're getting really close. So the two props that we were able to purchase for the Christmas season is the Rising Reaper, which I'll be showing you today, and Twitching Banshee, with like, which I came out with a video yesterday about that one. And I'm not going to be coming out with a setup video of Twitching Banshee because there's plenty of those out there, but I will be making a review of her later. So let's get started with the Rising Reaper. So I'm going to unbox this for you guys and I'm going to also show you a setup video of it because I couldn't find any on YouTube because it wasn't a very popular prop, but okay, so it looks pretty complicated in the box. There's actually a lot of stuff going on here. We've got the um, clothing, uh, we got a couple things here, we've got a huge module with a bunch of different parts. This is a really complicated module. Set that down over there. Right here we have the head and the mouth does move on this guy. So there's the head. Then we have the um, one of these brackets that gives it some shape. And We've got our base right here and our adapter right here. So on this piece right here we have the arms, we also have the telescoping poles attached and it has a very similar um, speaker box to Twitching Banshee so I would assume that these are made by the same people. If you know who makes this and go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. Your parts should include the head, the clothing, the base, the arms, two metal poles, you have your module, your wire bracket, and the adapter. The first step is to attach the poles labeled B to the base labeled A. Note that the larger part of the base should be facing forward for the rest of the process. Next, you're going to want to attach the module to the poles labeled B. Note that the speaker should be facing the larger part of the base. Now you're going to want to attach the shoulder frame to the module. Note that the curved part of it should be facing the back to form the hunchback shape. It should be pretty easy to follow though because the smaller wire will only fit into the smaller hole and the larger one will only fit into the largest one. At this point, your rising reaper should look something like this. Next, you're going to want to attach the metal poles on the head to the holes on the module. This mechanism right here, I'm assuming, is used to pull up the head and put it back down. Now you're going to want to attach the two wires coming from the head to the two corresponding wires coming from the module. Now you're going to want to slide the clothing piece labeled F over the head and then attach each of these Velcro strips to the Velcro strips on the head. Now open up the sleeves on each side and attach the arms using the metal hooks onto the holes inside the sleeves. Now attach the velcro strips on each of the sleeves to the velcro strips on the hands. Make sure that arm I is on your right and arm H is on your left. Then adjust all of the clothing as you please. Now attach the last piece of clothing labeled G to the head using the velcro strip.
adjust that piece of clothing as you'd like and your setup is complete. Make sure that the ceiling in the room you're using is tall enough because the head will rise up and it will lift a couple of feet. It will probably hit this ceiling. 